for anybody who's watched Deadliest Catch, we are a very tame version of that. Tonight we're going to transit down to Emerald Bay and we're going to use our trawler to harvest mice and shrimp that were put into the lake. So these little shrimp were put into Lake Tahoe as a source of food for recreational game fish. But the shrimp are so sensitive to light and Tahoe is so clear that they don't come up to shallow water until it's really, really dark. So the shallow living species aren't able to take advantage of this introduced food source. So the shrimp, they've created some issues related to water clarity. They consume those little zooplankton that are so good at eating algae below them in the food chain. The algae and the fine particles are what cloud Lake Tahoe. So we think these shrimp have done a lot to change water clarity. We had this idea that if we could trawl the shrimp and pull them out of the bay, we can actually see these native zooplankton flourish in the lake again, and the water clarity improves dramatically. We get this question about, well, can you really apply this to Tahoe? I mean, you're pulling a single net through the water. How would you ever remove shrimp on a meaningful level from Lake Tahoe? And we have autonomous cars being developed. There is no reason we couldn't transfer that same technology into a fleet of autonomous boats. It would, it would be very much like setting your Roomba to go on at midnight so when all the people are asleep and not walking around the floor, your vacuum goes out, cleans up the entire floor, and it docks itself by the time you get up in the morning.